What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Bandmade Reaction. We're going to check out the song called From Now On. And if you are just joining us, we are going down every single Bandmade album in order to track their evolution of sound. And we have made it to their latest album, which came out about a week ago. So, yeah, we are, uh, we've are we almost done every single Bandmade song. Um, I know there's some like acoustic albums that we might go through after this, but uh, yeah, let's go. Let's keep let's keep the ball rolling because I've been out for about a week now, so um, COVID is over with now. I'm just trying to record this because I'm in the middle of a hurricane and I'm hoping the power doesn't go out. So, yeah, let's just uh, jump into it. This is called "From Now On," their latest album called "Unleash." I love this intro and something I remember from the last song was Konami doing these really kind of odd shredding patterns or chord progressions it kind of sounds like a little dissonant in just this I don't know if it's the notes themselves or maybe it's the distortion on the guitar that she applies but uh, yeah I, I, I kind of noticed a little bit of similar thread in the last two songs um, with that weird kind of like screechy squeaky vibes and like it sounds really good um it didn't sound as good in the last song corallium i don't know i've i've since listened to corallium a few times and it's definitely you know becoming a little more i'm um, understanding it a little bit better so this may be one of those but i don't think it's quite on that level but that intro was really cool kind of was setting up this sort of atmospheric it's like it was building a world slightly but I like uh, I like how they don't just jump into it because I know a lot of times they'll just smack you in the face right away, starting off hard as hell. But I like the nice build up on this. This is really cool. Well, I'm getting the sense that this is an instrumental. I did not know that this was an instrumental. Granted, it still may not be. There's time for the lyrics to come in, but um, usually this far into the song, there would be lyrics. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is an instrumental. We'll see. But yeah, we'll, we'll listen to this one a couple times because I can already tell there's a lot that I need to talk about because, yeah, just, uh, I don't know, man. Something about instrumentals, like you can just notice so much more going on um, in the instruments, but let's keep going.
think this is one of those songs where Konami is basically doing a solo the whole time. She'll occasionally sync up with the rest of them, and then she'll shoot off onto her own little tangent. But um, this is nice, man. I really love instrumentals because I do love lyrics, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to change it up every once in a while, really kind of get a sort of magnified view of what's going on in the background that you might otherwise miss because, you know, most people tend to focus on vocals. So it sounded like we were about to enter into like maybe a slower section here. would go so well with either a video game or like an anime or some kind of show this just uh, i could just picture so much going on during this song in my head like just some epic hero type story or something i don't know i love this i love that section that it broke out to that sort of big arena type rock section oh man that was nice Even got like atmospheric sounds too coming in. Okay, that was sick, man. Let's go through it again. A little bit more of a uh, fine tooth comb. We might pause it a little more on this, but yeah, I love that intro. How it just it's sort of like a world builder in a sense. I don't know. To me, it just kind of provides a setting in your mind. You know, instead of just jumping into a storyline, you got to set up. Okay, where are we? What's around us? Right now, it's like some futuristic wasteland or something. I can't, maybe it's the album cover. So right when that drums, right when that just first punch came in, first it was like this atmospheric, like post-apocalyptic vibe. And as soon as the instruments came in, it was like a camera, like zoomed out from like the wheel of like a motorcycle and then you just see band made just it squatted up on motorcycle gang just zoom in to save the day that was what was in my head just some epic anime scene <laughs> let me check that out again but just try to think about what you're picturing in your head when you're hearing this so it starts off this nice atmospheric sound and then it punches into the music and for me it's like introducing the heroes in of sort of like a you know, regular storyline vibe, but let me know in the comments what was in your head when you were first hearing this. Sorry. One more time. I didn't quite get that sentence out in time. <laughs> yeah. see it was like konami was doing a solo like it wasn't very rhythmic to me it was uh yeah kind of standalone just kind of 
little, 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 not all over the place, but slightly, you know, just kind of, I don't know, something about her last few songs seems like she's been reaching into that experimental bag a little more, which is cool. I mean, you got to push the envelope and get better. Kane, man. <laughs> like, I, don't, I mean, I, for the new viewers, right? Everyone that's been watching, you know Akane is a savage. One of the best drummers out there, but if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> I mean, just listen, because she's not usually, I mean, in the past few songs, she's also been, you know, going into that experimental side of things where she's playing a lot of like progressive sounding stuff like the drums sound amazing but they're all over the place and they don't necessarily carry like this steady groove but they still sound really good like it doesn't detract from the song at all and the fact that they can manage that is just amazing how you know i mean she definitely plays groovy sections for sure but she'll play a progressive section where you would expect a groovy section but it still sounds so good and yeah what more can you say the bills God. yeah i'm really picturing like some sort of action movie like some animated heroes fighting the villains action scene when i'm hearing this song and it's fucking amazing i think that first uh unleash video teaser sort of music video they gave us <laughs> I was just like, man, I really want a band made anime now. I think everyone does. I just love the setting of this album. It really, I don't know. Maybe that's influencing my vision of what's happening in this song, but it's so sick. The artistry on this is amazing. part right there like she sets up a, a foundation and it launches off and it sets up another foundation and it launches off i just that's the only way i can describe it man such a creative like composition i don't <laughs> i'm still i'm getting amazed by this band i've been listening to them for like four or five months now i think six no I don't know, maybe about four or five months we've been listening to Bandmade every day. And you would think that I'd be sick of it by now. And I did need a break, don't get me wrong. Of course, I did get COVID, yada, yada. But, like, man, like, the fact that they can still wow me is something I've not, not found in another band yet. I mean, <laughs> I've been busy with Bandmade, but I'll be surprised if I ever find another band like this, to be honest. So, I'm so glad they came out with some new music. So sick. I love how it eases into this like calm, sort of calm bass part. Something about that's very kind of, I don't know, it's just so nice to hear. Very relaxing. Floating in the sky or something. Oh, here we go. Building up. 
for the boss battle now. Ah, so just a massive sound. Love it. That was so good. Man. This was amazing. This was like this was like a story in a song. I mean, a lot of their songs are like that, but this one is is one of those, you know, where it's just you can picture so much going on. It's got like you know, conflict and resolution. It sounds like the heroes being victorious and there's a boss battle and first there's like the intro and the oh man. This was fucking amazing. This was a great one. From now on, I didn't know it was an instrumental, but I'm very pleased. I love instrumentals, and the song definitely uh, was way better than I would have thought. You know, when it first started off with uh, Konami doing that experimental, I don't know how to describe it, kind of almost dissonant type sound like she did in the last song, I was like, oh no, it's another one of these where it's going to take a lot of digesting, but... That really wasn't the main part of the song. Um, yeah, just the way they... Just the composition of this. And they're all so talented. Like, yeah. What more can you say? I've said it all, really. You know, every, every good thing you could say, I feel like I've already said. But I know some of you guys are new, so... But, man. Konami is such a great writer. They're all such great players, and the fact that they can pull some of the things off that they pull off, I'm still amazed months and months later. And yeah, it's just great to see how good they've gotten over those times, because I'm thinking back to Made in Japan, their first album, where it was very kind of studio-produced and very pop-punk, which I do like pop-punk, and the catchiness of it was you know, an appealing factor as well. Not everything has to be complex to be good, but just how they've kind of taken hold of their craft and really, you know, polished it up nicely over time and really kind of not let a lot of those outside influences of a studio kind of mar their sound. So, and they've really done a great job. And props to Miku for pu pulling everyone together. I mean... And Konami, being the genius writer she is, and the genius player, and helping teach Miku how to get better, and I'm sure Psyche's happy to get a little break in this song, but Akane and Misa did not get a break in this song. <laughs> they were all over the place, man. <clears throat> Especially Akane, she is, like, really leveling up her drumming, and, man... I mean, Konami too, they're all leveling up, but what I'm noticing, I'm a drummer, so I notice the drums a lot more, and yeah, Akane is just like, like, she's a freak, she's been a master, but she is like a legit freaking master of the drums. Wow, this was an unexpected surprise. This is a, a nice uh, first song back after a little hiatus, a little week-long hiatus there, but everything's good. I don't think I'll be losing power today. I hope not. We kind of are in uh, Hurricane Ian right now. Luckily, we're getting like the, the second landfall of the storm, so it's not as intense as it was in Florida. Thank God. Prayers are to with... Uh, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone in Florida. Um, I encourage anyone to donate to some kind of relief fund for uh, Hurricane Ian victims because that was like top five... You know, storms to hit America, hit um, United States, in uh, ever. So, yeah, I I live on the East Coast, right near the beach, and I've been through many of hurricanes, and none quite like that. 
very close to that, but not quite on that level of devastation. So just a little side note. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm in the clear now. Although I can't really hear the wind, but the storm is pretty much over for the most part. It's it's gotten broken up quite a bit. So anyway, though, this was band made with from now on from their new album Unleash, and this was amazing. Um, man, I love instrumentals. I love band made, and they have gotten so good over these months. And I hope they continue to do so because I'm here. I'll be reacting to anything they put out in the future, guaranteed. And yeah, so we're going to keep making our way through this album. I'm going to slow it down a little bit and not do one a day because it was a little much. It was fun, you know, it was uh, definitely a learning experience to say the least. But I'll probably space these out, you know, a few times a week, maybe two a week or something like that. Just kind of where I have time. I'm not going to force it. It's going to, whenever I have, you know, whenever I'm feeling up to it and have time, I'm going to do it. And then we'll, we'll go into some of their older acoustic stuff. And then later we'll eventually do some re-reactions to, uh, some of their older songs, kind of go back through it a little bit more, but yeah, this was from now on band made amazing song. Yeah. What more can you say? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about this song in the comments. And if you want to see more of this type of content, please subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Check the description on your way out for all the other band-made reactions I've done. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.